So today's question is very simple. Should you be heading along the Fujifilm lineup, along the journey towards the more expensive and better cameras with better sensors, or should you be heading back down the Fujifilm lineup towards something like this, which is the Fujifilm XE2? So really simple question, and I think simple answers as well. So here we go. The reason for going this way would be if you are desperate to be kind of in the latest gear, if you need a much higher resolution sensor, perhaps you shoot for a living. Um, so like me, I shoot for a living, so I kind of have to go this way for a lot of my gear. And the reasons for that are I want cleaner raw files, I need higher resolution, um, I need to have um, better video quality. Um, a better sensor, um, quicker autofocus, a uh, faster processor, these sorts of things which just help me do my job quicker, more efficiently and to a better quality when it comes to RAW files. But if you're not that bothered about RAW files, I would say head back down in this direction because I think the, RAW file, the uh, JPEG files that you get in these cameras are just exquisite, are beautiful. They remind me so much of my film cameras. And I've just had so much fun shooting with this XE2 ever since um, I bought it. Um, I got it recently and I've been kind of messing around, playing with it, and it just reminds me so much of the um, images that I used to capture on, on my film cameras and that I still capture on my film cameras. Um, I used to have the X-T1 um, and use that professionally. And so the raw files out of the sensor on this camera, which are the same as the X-T1, are just fantastic. Um, 16 megapixels. Um, now many people would argue between, you know, whether this sensor in here, which is the um, X-Trans 2 sensor, is um, more kind of better for JPEGs than the, than the, than the first sensor. Um, and uh, you're going to get people um, debating between the first sensor and the second sensor for JPEGs. But for me, I just love this one, which is the... Um, the second sensor. So really, if you don't need raw files um, that are the cleanest in the world, if you're not you know, bothered about going in that direction, you don't want to blow a whole lot of money on a new camera, but you are happy to go into the secondhand market and happy to get yourself something that's um, a little older, I would suggest you would have the most fantastic amount of fun and take the most beautiful images with something like this. You know, I, this only cost me a couple of hundred pounds to buy the body. And so it's a, you know, for, for, the, for the camera world, especially when I'm buying all this kind of gear for my job, this just seems so cheap. Now, I recognize this still might be expensive for some people, but it's a lot cheaper than it is than buying, let's say, the X-T3 or, you know, cameras in that direction. So a simple question today, should you go that way or should you go that way? For me, if you've got to have really clean raw files, and you've got to, you know, have much higher resolution, faster autofocus, the newer Fujifilm simulations, that kind of thing, then you've got to go towards the latest gear. But if you're happy to shoot JPEGs, which have a beautiful, nostalgic, film-like grain on them, and, you know, I think um, look absolutely beautiful, then head back down in this direction, because it will cost you a lot less money, and you will have a lot of fun, and you will absolutely love the images that you take. Well, at least I do anyway. My opinion, if I was buying now, but a camera now, and I, and I wasn't doing it for a living, I was just buying a camera, I would buy um, something like this um, over the X-T3, just because of the style of the image, for me is much more um, retro, much more kind of nostalgic, um, and I just, I love um, shooting with them. And look how small they are, they're just so good. Um, I saw the X70 recently, I almost bought that, um, but it's got the same sensor as this one, the, uh, the Mark II sensor. And that was about £474, I think it was. So again, it's very cheap, and that, that camera is holding its value really well. Um, so if you do go into the second-hand market, you know, you can get some great bargains at the moment. And I think, for me anyway, I've not been disappointed. Hope that's helpful to you. If you're looking for a new camera now and you're working out which way to go, you don't have to blow all your money on the latest gear. You can go in this direction and like me, be absolutely um, happy in, in doing so. 
that's it for today thanks ever so much please do like this video and subscribe if you can and i'll see you in my next film thanks